Ugh, it's still a little bit too hot. Oh, hey, didn't even see you walk in. Anyways, welcome to my cozy winter cabin. It's, of course, the holiday season. Time to get all nice and cozy with the fire, decorate a beautiful Christmas tree, and best of all, give gifts to your friends. And you know what? I'm feeling a bit charitable this year. I'm gonna give y'all's gifts early. You know what that means. We got a whole Lily's Revenge walkthrough and director commentary all in one video. Let's go play some Lily's Revenge. That should be a bunch of fun, right? <laughs> ah! ah, and we're here. Lily, you did it again. You kidnapped me for like the billionth time. You need to stop doing that. You can just invite me over, you know. But anyways, uh, speaking of holiday season, it's also the holiday contest time. Welcome to Lily's oh, Revenge. I guess he'll explain. This game, try the door on my right or your left. Or if you know a few of the passwords, try the door on my left or your right. Now I'm here to announce it's contest time, and we made a really fun track for you. It is Solstice Speedway, a fun racing game. Try it out over there. Hello. Okay, like you said, Solstice Speedway. This is a contest map me and my friends worked on. I did most of the circuitry for how the race works and all that stuff. And really talented people, really talented stuff. You guys will have an absolute blast racing on this track. It was a lot of fun to make and a lot of fun to race around. All right, so to get started, of course, we have this door and that door. That one is the password room, which we'll go over later. But also in addition to the contest door stuff, Lily says something. Go to Solstice Speedway or I'll take my revenge on you. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Lily. Nope, Revenge. nope, not listening to you. Not listening. You're a total nerd. All right. Ah, ah, it's raining. I shouldn't be wearing this in the rain. Oh, well. So, this is the McDonald's map. Isn't that splendid? From early 2022. Oh, you finally did it. Oh, McDonald's, no. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Come here. Come here real quick. I need to talk to you. Uh, you need to talk to Lily? I don't know if you know what's going on or not, but okay. we need to get to safety. Quick. Here, follow me. All right, uh, you do your thing, because this is super simple. So when the elevator shows up, just walk on in. That's how you pass this room. But I'm wanting to show off all this. This is how I do most of the setups in the rooms. I'd use a simple steam machine. I've since then... I've since then moved on to CV2, so I don't use CV1 anymore. But yeah, all these are just steam machines. I think I can actually reset it by pressing this over here. Yep, reset it. <laughs> I went back in time, you loser. Speaking of which, let's take a good look at Lily. Okay, so that's the voice line she says, and here's the whole McDonald's. Yeah, she's kind of creepy up close. <sighs> but you'll see I deleted a lot of the stuff that you don't see, and we just have a giant Lily just floating in and out of a burnt McDonald's. Yeah, I know. How could this happen to this building? It's so sad. It was so costly to get all this repaired, by the way. You don't even know. But hey, the shoes still lives. The shoes live. That's the most important part. All right, back to Ender. Here we go. Right this way. All right, just one second, Ender. Uh, Lily needs to do something. Well, come on, hurry. Lily might attack or something. We need to get to safety quickly. Also, there have been come the people on. that's been ex uh, in the elevator. Come on. asking how I do the different cutscene voices, and I'll demonstrate that in the other room. Well, come on, hurry! Lily might attack or something. She won't. We need to get to safety quickly. Come on. In she says, elevator. "I come see on. you." Wait, what was that sound? And then she hurls oh, a giant no. flaming meatball. Well, now you did it! I told you to hurry up. Wee. <laughs> well, Ender died. Rest in peace. Poor Ender. This didn't have to happen to him, you know. <laughs> so sad. Oh, I'm gonna miss Ender so dearly. He was so cool, so whatever. <coughs> he was boring. Right, oh, here we never are. mind. Crown floor. What part did you hear? Oh, well, since I've been down here. Let me turn on the light. Oh, oh my. <laughs> Ew. Well, that only proves that. Man. Well, anyways, let's keep going. We got a lot to do. Hold on. Alright, here is the trend that'll take us to where we need to go. All you have to do is... Oh yeah, never mind, not this room. Hey, before we go, the... do you know what's going on? 
it, it, in here it's a bit too complicated because there's like different state machines, but uh, this is where it starts. It starts right here, and this proceeds to turning on the lights. And yes, again, this is all CV1. I know to some of you that might cringe, yeah, but I've since switched to CV2, so take a breath of fresh air. So yeah, all this just keeps track of... Oh, are you still on all on the tram? Did you go? Yeah, just a lot of stuff. Keep a track of different things. Kind of hard to explain, but yeah. To everyone, it it's colorful spaghetti. That's all it is. Okay, so difference between these two options. This one just skips a, uh, another voice line. This one just plays that voice line that is skipped. Yeah, I kind of expected that. Anyways, there's this ghost at McDonald's that's been haunting the place for a while. Her name is Lily. Blah, blah, blah. The spider makes noises. Hehehehe. <laughs> also, this is like one of the most popular photos for Lily's Revenge, and I appreciate that so much. Stay frosty, little roach. I just ignored them. I can't believe it's a McDonald's. We need to stop her. I got a plan. Let's go. Sorry, what were you saying? I wasn't listening. Anyways, uh, up here is a reference, uh, mostly just the middle part. The other two are just random stuff I made up. But Ravenholm is based off Half-Life 1, or not 1, 2. Half-Life 2. Oh, people are going to hate me for saying that. Uh, <laughs> it's the zombie infested place with head crabs and stuff, and bonk, I'm a fan of Half-Life. That's why. My offices are and speaking of Half-Life, yeah, McDonald's, main offices, resource labs. Lily, but I can't say too much. Whoa! Ah! Who in the world was that? Where'd they even come from? <laughs> Don't worry, Gordon. Huh. You just killed a man. Um, I love Wayne. <laughs> that stuff was hilarious. Uh, Best CHQ is my former building group. Sandbox is my sandbox room in productions. It's an old building map. Ah! And Relaxo presents. It is Lily Revenge. It is Lily's Revenge. No, that's not the official vocals. <laughs> I had so much trouble trying to keep the sign from going into the wall there. It was a pain. All right, here we are, the main offices. Just make sure not to touch anything while you're in here, all right? Uh, it's my office, dude. I'm just on holiday me? vacation. Okay, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, uh, so... A lot of secrets are actually hidden throughout Lily's Revenge that a lot of people still have not found. And how to find these secrets is if you're able to go to the very beginning of the map, try to do so, like when you're at the very end of it, like where I am now. So right now, of course, I can't go back because trolleys already came and went, this button doesn't do anything, you know. But the next room will have a secret that's involved in going all the way back, so. Let's go! Office time! Woo! Oh yeah, and uh gonna stop me from doing this but so i'm gonna also give you all sneak peeks on kind of like what everything looks like so this is past the office point so of course you can't see everything there's still the standard cv1 bulbs there's the door that takes you to the offices there's the signs and you know just flying around you're gonna see some pretty simple stuff hey there is cv2 though look at this look at this moving triggers on respawn ain't that cool and again, more colorful spaghetti, the beacons, the holotars. So, like I said, I'm going to go over the holotar stuff in the next room. Here's the death room. So, if any of your friends fell off the tram or, you know, waited around until Lily killed you, then, of course, you'd be sent to the game over room, where that's all the password stuff. And yes, Lily's just chilling right here. So, if you were to sit right here... Uh, at the point the tram left, it wouldn't play the introduction music. Instead, Lily would come down and push you off into this pit. So if you haven't done that yet, I highly recommend doing that. Anyways, let's head on back to the offices. It's time for some more Lily revenge. Also, this won't be a uh, completely uh, thorough video. I mean, what am I trying to say with that? Uh, this video won't be in one take. One take is what I'm saying, because I gotta go to work soon, and uh, when I get home, I'll probably finish the rest of the video. So, huh, I don't know how tired I'm gonna be. It's a nine-hour shift. Yes, Ender Luxio works. I need money. <laughs> I need money to live.
death password is banana. So, like I said with the whole uh, state machine stuff, so how I have the holotar set up is I have the holotars recorded for each and every one of their voice lines. There are multiple ones, like there's one right here for when Ender says something, and then another one right here. And then I think I have one over there. Here's all the duckies, of course. My Dude, they are getting so much popcorn nowadays. I'm actually fearing for their health, because that's like a lot of salt. Don't want to kill the duckies. <laughs> yeah, so if I hit this, that Haltar is going to activate. So... Right now, this one's active, and it's going to go for 15 seconds. Afterwards, it's going to go to this one. So how I have it set up is on enter, it activates the holotar. On exit, it leaves the holotar. So you see, you move to the next one. So now the other holotar is going off. That's how I have the different conversation stuff going. Just 15 second gaps between each. And just play, stop, play, stop, play, stop. Just a moment, all right? Duckies! All right, and everyone's scary. This is the scariest part of the game. Ah, it's Lily. No, I didn't do it. I may have killed that G-Man fellow, but I didn't kill you. <laughs> ah! Oh. Whee! <laughs> hey. Wait. Okay? What? Oh. That was a bug. <laughs> Uh, spoiler, uh, that wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> I think I hit the trigger through the thing on accident. So I wouldn't have been able to get in because the door would have shut and the triggers or the invisible collision would have been there. Uh, what was the one for that room? Dang, I'm the creator of this map and I don't even know my own passwords. It was, uh... Was it Freeman? No, that's the labs. Uh, shoot. Um. <laughs> office, office, office. What is office? Banana. Banana. Eat your potassium. <laughs> that's a callback to the one AMA I did. And you uploaded a video saying that I said banana. I did not. I said potassium. Rick Ender, love your maps, blah, 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 blah. Um. Someone wants you to say I like bananas. <laughs> Eat your potassium! Be healthy. <laughs> that was amazing. <sighs> Excuse me. So, Anyways, I'm glad we're back here, because I need to explain these. So, Crystal is... The name of Sweetfire, my best friend. But just call her Sweetfire. This is just a reference to her. Ty is a reference to one of my greatest best friends ever. Like a brother to me. But he doesn't show up in the quest. At least not yet. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. And then Edmonton. Yeah. Do I need to bring up Edmonton? Uh, well, he's from the game... Oh, wait, no, I can't say, because this is a stressful moment, and it's cutting me off from saying very vital information to the lore and secrecy of the next sequel in this game. Oh, well, I guess I gotta run now and not reveal anything, so no one on the internet knows anything. Ha 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 ha. Alright, let's actually just go in here now. Get in here, quickly. Hey, you okay? Wow, saved on Rec Room? When? Looks like Lily almost got you. <laughs> what? How do I know who Lily is? <laughs> How rude of me. Let me introduce myself. I'm Sage. Sage Bunny. At your service. No, your watermelon beard. So now, an even better question. Who are you? I know you're not an employee. How'd you uh, even get down here? Excuse me? Ah. You followed <laughs> Ender. I'm on See, vacation! Just where she wants him to be. So he did tell you what's happening, right? Why Lily is after him? How much time do I have left? He killed her ah! in a fire. Running out of time. Let me guess. He says he was framed. Such Got like 40 minutes until. What a liar. What a liar. So he's kept you safe so far. But all he wants and to I'm do playing is on a uh, quest link care about to my her. computer. He doesn't care about you. Not like I do. That's why Not I like need me. you to help me stop him. So she can have her revenge. Now then. 
You can either help me, come with me into this vent, or you can forget I exist, go back out there, and help the murderer. Don't worry, I'll be waiting for you. Hmm. You know something I just thought of? Hey, where'd you go? I hope you're okay. That looks like a huge mess. Hi, Ender. <laughs> It doesn't have a doorknob. How'd I forget that? That's dumb. <laughs> good, good going, Ender. Alright, uh, so I just thought of something. So, the sequel I am doing is based off of the third ending, which is the ending with... I won't reveal anything yet. Not yet. Not yet. I will, though. Just not now. But, I'm not having any continuations of the other two endings. The ones you get without the secret. So, any fan games that want to make up their own lore for that, I'd love to see. Trust me, I support fan content all the way. That stuff is super duper cool to me. Like, I saw, uh, what was it? Lily's Curse, I think it was? That was a pretty great idea. I liked it. Okay, so yeah, if you go this way, we're gonna go the Ender route, of course, because it's me. There's where you go with Sage. Oh yeah, I didn't do the thingy thingy. I need to do the thingy. That I said that I was going to do, but I didn't because I'm a total nerd. But, yeah, if you go all the way back. I know, I know, you just want to keep moving on. But if we go all the way back, all this way, look at all the damage that's been done by Lily. Somehow the fax machine never moved in those filing cabinets. Banana. There is a cookie. There is a cookie. Just a cookie. Isn't it wonderful? It's a wonderful cookie. Ah, uh, you know one thing I didn't think of? I didn't check the audio input. I'm pretty sure it's set to the headset, but if it's not, oh. Oh no. Oh no. That'd be such a waste of time. Oh no. But, let's just say, it did. Oh yeah, and I didn't show, but Lily threw the back wall there. Death password is puppy. That's a sad death password. I don't want death to a puppy. I guess I gotta go to the labs now. <gasps> hey! Hey, there you are. Oh, thank goodness you're okay. I thought you were a goner. I was so worried about you. No, you weren't. Uh, after seeing that huge mess, I thought Lily would have gotten you or something. Uh, glad to see you're doing okay. Anyways, I figured out who's been leaving those notes. There's an old employee of mine by the name of Sage Bunny that I rehired a long time ago. Sage Bunny? Funny enough, I haven't really seen much of them since, so... Me either, bud. Me either. Me. <laughs> I'm honestly kind of confused. Anyways, that doesn't matter. You just moved right on now. to TikTok. What we need to do is stop Lily, and I got the perfect plan for it. I probably I shouldn't have said that. That I can use in the labs over there, so let's hurry and do this. Yeah, let's go to the labs. Uh, oh, shoot. I just remembered. I accidentally left my card at the end of the training course on accident. Ah, drat. Whee! I know this might sound like an inconvenience, but can you please get that back for me, please? I gotta watch out for Sage in case they run through here. Anyways, <laughs> the door over there has the time he needs it. it's fixed a little bit. Nine eight seven. Coach's number. I don't know why they have that as the number, but they just do. So one nine eight seven, and that'll allow you to get in. One yeah. nine eight seven. All right, and now we just... Oh, wait. Hey, you're back from the training course already? That's the fastest that anyone has. Wait, I don't see a car. I wanted to explain this, but uh, now I can't. <laughs> I'm guessing you might have walked off when I said the pin, huh? It's coach's number. 1987. 1987. Okay, so notice the huge change in energy there. That was added later, because... I realized that since that had a weird cutoff time with the last bit, some people might have already walked off like, Oh, okay, we need to go to the training course then, and then not hear the pin. And then a lot of comments saying, hey, what's the pin to the training course? We walked off after he said it. And, you know, people didn't want to go all the way back through the quest. So I did this later in. I was really, really tired at the time. <laughs> so it's just like, oh, you need the password. Yeah, it's 1987. Okay. You know, 1987. Stuff like that. And some people might recognize this if they went the other route. But we're not going to go that way yet. Training course! Yeah! Okay, so people don't need to actually, you know, touch it. They need to click on it. 
I've heard there's a weird bug with like Xbox players for some reason it won't pop up. I think that's something to do with Rec Room itself and I'll double check my circuitry to make sure there's nothing flawed in the system for that to happen. But yeah, don't worry. I, I've heard y'all. I've heard y'all. I'm going to get that fixed. Hopefully if I can. Uh, No, wait, wait, wait. It might be coach's number, but it's also a FNAF number. It was the bite of 83. Oh. Yeah, sorry. That was cringe. <laughs> Maybe. Might have been cringe. Depends on the person. Let's go. Woo. Hello. And welcome to the Enerlox EO Employee and Staff Training Course. Yeah! In this course, you will be using about 36.99995% of your brain to solve these physical and mental puzzles. First off, we are not affiliated with Aperture Science, Planet Fitness, or any other intensive Man. puzzle solving business in the current world. My scans show you are new to this program. What is your name and or names? Enderluxio, creator of many friends of little. Not much. Hearer, <laughs> we could not hear your responses. Name and or names have been defaulted to Terry Undertaker. Please proceed to the first chamber, Terry Undertaker. Now, people might be asking, where in the world did Terry Undertaker come from? The answer is just random name. I, it sounded funny in my head. And I know Undertaker is that one WWE wrestler's name, but it's <laughs> just Terry Undertaker. It sounds great. And now it's a fan favorite. This first puzzle, Terry Undertaker will utilize almost 87% of your brain. Please yeah. be sure to take uh, your time move Q and focus to there and on the you solution. Win. That's all Good job. Thanks for playing. Sensory show your head did not explode <laughs> and that you are currently feeling that my previous statement was sarcastic due to your personal feeling of how easy that puzzle was. Don't worry. <laughs> these next puzzles will be more challenging. That wasn't easy, though. That was so difficult. What do you mean? Here is the next puzzle. Terry Undertaker. This puzzle was reported to be 9, 9, 9, 9. Nine, nine percent more difficult than the previous one. Be sure to take your time with it. I will. So the cube's gonna be over here, and then you put the cube here. Good job. Reports show similar feelings of sarcastic intent. Be warned, your overconfidence will be your downfall if you feel that these upcoming puzzles will be just as easy as the last two. And then you just have to jump onto these platforms. Now some may note that you can't teleport on these, and that's because of the clamber stuff. To make it a true platformer, I took it off just so you can't just climb up it. The third puzzle, Terry Undertaker, will utilize all of your brain to solve. Most that go through this puzzle do not succeed. They simply fail, cry, and go back to watching Barney back at home. Go back to watching Barney back at home. Are you one of those that cried and watched Barney back at home? If so, you are no longer allowed in this facility. But a friend of mine pointed out that you can easily cheat this puzzle just by doing this with the cube. And thing is, you only need to get the red cube. You don't need to get the blue one. Because the blue one activates that platform to where it turns that one on, turns that one off, and they switch. But as a failsafe, or I guess just bad circuitry, I decided to make it to where if the red cube is on the red platform, it activates all these just to finalize the puzzle. Because I think it's just a set trigger, so if I just toss this down here, boop. Outstanding. You have proven to be a grand outlier so yeah, that in these one moves, but also these moves too. You may be deserving of a reward at the end of this run. Be proud of yourself, despite your assumption of the easiness of these puzzles. All right, now the hardest puzzle. Here is the fourth and final oh, puzzle. Oh no! Terry Undertaker. Only the top one percent of those who attend this course succeed at this point. Mostly under himself, but that is because he was the one who created this course. Shh, don't tell them that. I mean, what? Uh, I mean, uh, no, I, I don't get the reference. I'm Terry Undertaker. Okay, so all these colors, of course, we've already seen them before. They are over here. Oh, and over here. Oh, there we go. You know, it's kind of weird looking at, like, the logo of mine. Because people will say, like, hey, what's your favorite color? What's your color scheme? And it's just like, oh, yeah, it's like gray, purple, red, blue, cyan, yellow. <laughs> it's like anything but orange. Though, funny enough, I'm a Volunteers fan, so I guess all the colors. I know, I know. I grew up in the state of Tennessee, for those that are curious. You might already notice just because a little bit of southern dialect, but... Congratulations, Terry Undertaker. 
You have done tremendous work that the Wee. previous record have not seen before. Please accept this gift before you go, as proof of your accomplishment through the Interloxio employee and staff training course. I hope to see you again soon, Terry Undertaker. Yes. I am Terry Undertaker. Wonder how many people own these. Let's see. Uh, whoa, whoa. 133,000 people own this trophy. Ah, oh, that is so cool. And it's in about 14,000 rooms. Probably dorm rooms, but... Ah, oh, that is super duper cool. Alright, let's grab this comically oversized card. And let's go. So yeah, the hatch opens. And there's Ender. Being useless. Yeah, you notice with Ender in this route, he just walks around and says stuff. He doesn't do anything. All he does is watch out for things, look out, or, you know, be passed out by being smacked. Hey, you're back from the training course. Oh, wait, we're not that at that point yet. Enough. Not too difficult, right? I'm not time travel, <laughs> I swear. Anyway, thanks for getting the card. I owe you one. It, it opened before you even swiped Let's it. Let's do this thing. Dude, terrible game design. Gah. All right. All right. So yeah, let's do a little bit of fly around. But first we'll go down here. So here's the underside of this huge air vent thing. We And here's the top. Isn't this cool? And there's where the card moves after you collect it. Yep. So here's the vault area from the other side. Ah, and we just fall through. Okay. And also back to the secrets, like I said, going back to the very beginning. Uh, this one's a bit of a liar. Because you don't actually go all the way to the beginning to see something. You actually go to the vault. Because my mindset was, players would be like, Oh, we went to the training course and we went to the... We're about to go to the labs, but what about the vault? How do we get to the vault? So they're going to walk up here. I know you're curious to know what's behind these doors. He's not dead. That is for another timeline to explore. One where Mr. Luxio is not so lucky. I'm not a good voice actor, by the way. My voice is terrible and hideous and ugly, and uh, I should not make any more games. Uh, don't save. To the labs! To the lab, to the lab, to the lab! Here's where I said Freeman. Okay. Uh, it's nice to be back in the labs again. It's been forever since I've been in here. But anyways, uh, back to the plan. So the main thing I need is three parts for the main ghost raid that we need for defeating Lily. Okay, so I'm going to ignore him for now because he just says a bunch of filler stuff. To note, I was crunching a deadline and this room was like, a week or two from the deadline being made. So I had to rush in very quickly and just throw a bunch of stuff in here. But I also wanted to give it enough time to be fleshed out. But all that's mostly just like improv, objective stuff. It doesn't sound good. I promise it doesn't sound good. But essentially what he's saying is that we need to get four support legs, uh, three energy canisters. Here's an energy canister. And we need to get a key from one of the drawers to open up this door to get a battery. But first, Peptol Bisball Potion. Mmm, yes, bubblegum yumminess. Cure all your headache, heartburn, indigestion, upset stomach, and diarrhea. It's the best thing. No, I'm not sponsored. I probably never will be. <laughs> Another robo leg up here. Okay, so we got the energy canister over there, leg over here, uh, and that's all for this room. And then over here should have the... Okay, I was wondering what he was doing. Over here should be another energy canister that completes all that. I'll have a checklist up on the video just for creative fun. Here's another energy leg, you just gotta bend down and touch it. Uh, and then the key should be in this drawer. All right. And also, I think that's all the robotic legs. Nope, we missed one. Wow. Doing a walkthrough and I miss one? People scream at me. I deserve it. Let's open the door. Battery! 
Oh, uh, if you approach him when you don't have all this stuff, I think he'll say it again. Great, I don't know how to test that. Do I have a reset? I don't think I have a reset thingy in here, do I? No. Ah, well. Okay. I got rid of it after I got done with the room. Anyways. Hey, and there's all the parts. Good. Now we can put this whole thing together and stop Lily. Thanks for putting all this effort in to help <laughs> me out. It means a lot, so thank you. Anyways, let's end this. Let's go. That was a terrible fu- Oh, that one didn't ask me to save. That's interesting. Ah, well, I wanted to fly around first, though there's not much to see. It's just mostly a void. All right, time for the first boss. Are you ready? Death password is burning. Burn my soul. Hey, Ender. Shh, I don't think she spotted us yet. The laser's ready over there. Just fire it at her. Hey, Lily, I forgot to ask. Are you going to the Christmas party or not? Oh, yeah, I forgot. She's kind of hard of hearing. Uh, this should get her attention. Yes, we did it. <laughs> also to note, uh, four robot legs, Good the job. three energy canisters, and the battery. Oh, I'm glad that I guess Ender just had the laser parts on. Oh, my. Oh, no. Oh. Uh, what the? Uh. I know. Terrible death. Okay. Lily! She has three attacks. One is the slam and swipe which that will be the first attack, which mostly gets the front area as well as by the gun. Do another one. Okay, you're just gonna do the slap and swipe. Ender. You're useless, Ender. Okay, she's doing pat a cake, which hits the deep area over there and deep area over there, but keeps the middle pretty much unharmed, except for a little bit of there where she's moving. And the third one is rocket arms. Which she just does that. And that hits the back area. So two out of three attacks, you're safe back here. Okay, slap and swipe. Whee! So there's a few stages to this, and it all involves the platforms falling down. So of course, we just gotta be careful when she does rocket arms, but other than that, we're safe here. Absolutely safe. In the next game, it's gonna be harder. Absolutely harder. I've grown in the community, I've grown in my skills, and I'm ready to make a sequel that will beat this one down in the dirt. At least Lily's, like, teeth looks white. You keep your oral hygiene up, that's good. Up, oh, rocket arms, let's move. Zoom. You think one of these attacks would hit Ender and just send his body flying in the distance? <laughs> okay, uh, I wanna wait. Yeah, if I would've went just then, I would've got hit by Patty Cake. I don't want to be, play patty cake. I want to kill. Or I mean, uh, stop the revenge. <laughs> no, I didn't kill Lily, don't ask. <laughs> Rocket arms. Whee! Got a little, little bit of a mustache growing there. Is it done yet? No. Patty cake. Man, you really like rocket arms. Huh. It would be better in the next game maybe to keep track of where players are and do attacks based off of that. Ooh. That'd make it to where you can't just stay in one spot. Or, you know, just do a boss fight like Sages where it just stops you from really just standing still and stuff. Anyways, Lily is dead. She fell into the room of red goo, which Ender has for some reason. Why do you have a room of red goo? Ender? Ender, what is that? Is this your Kool-Aid supply? What happened? Oh, my head hurts. Oh, wait, what's going on? Lily! Lily! Oh, wait, what happened? Wait, you beat Lily? Yeah, Ender beat Lily. That is absolutely. And just whoops amazing. out of existence. Good job. Yeah, sorry I got myself knocked out, but you better uh, be. At least it's all over. Yeah. 
let's head back to the surface. And I got some repairing to do. Absolutely. Let's do it. Okay. So before I do that, though, uh. Okay, there wasn't a secret at the labs. I was thinking if there was, but no, that's just the other ending. Okay, so, how this boss fight works. I think I actually have a reset somewhere. Let me see. Uh, it would be... Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I do have a reset. Ah! So, isn't this cool? I can just reset the fight. I don't think she spotted us yet. Laser, ready to... laser, 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 laser! <laughs> It's on standby until he's done talking. Boop. All right. And then boss fight again. Okay. So time to explain some things. Woo. So here is the attack chooser. Yeah, move the whole holotar for that. Ah. Right, there's the music. And this is the attack chooser. And she has chosen pat -a cake Which I think it just goes through there to choose it. And then that's what ends it. Then it stops right there. Uh, this one, I guess, is for keeping the keeping it from doing stuff. I don't know. That's her voice line. Choose her. And all that down there just keeps track of all the... Ha! Ah! Excuse me. Hey. Hey. Don't be rude. Yeah, we just got all this keeping track of the battle. So this is, of course, the first life. If I hit it, that's the voice line, the platforms fall, pat a cake, go through the wall, fly around, be a jerk. <laughs> yep, just a room of red Kool-Aid. Oh, the hair kind of looks cool from the back. Just swooshing around like that. She's so mad, look at her slam. Yeah, that's pretty much the Lily fight. And I'll show the credits at the very, very end, because that's just mostly for story reasons. And I'd rather talk about the lore at the very end, just to summarize stuff. Oops. Did I just make a tube? I did make a tube. Whee! Yeah, I have plenty of ink in here. Anyways, uh, let's look at the time. What can I do? Eh, probably not much. Kill me! Yay. <laughs> Don't save. <laughs> okay, so I am going to get ready for work, but don't worry, this is not the end of the video. I'm going to add in my second take after this one. But first, before I get off, there is a Easter egg password. I think if you put an ender... Lexio. Says nice try and gives a fish noise. I forget if I did one for Sage as well, or Lily. Sage. Well, it's all one word. I don't think I did. Let me see. No. Okay, so password system. This is all CV2. Look at this. See? See? I can do CV2, everybody. I'm not a CV1. Er. Entirely. <laughs> But all these contain the doors. All the doors are down here. And it'll choose, like, what password you type in. And it'll either be Popcorn, Banana, Puppy, Dova, Luigi, Freeman, Neon, Burning, Friend, Balloon, or Ender Luxio. Balloon. Which one was Balloon? Balloon was the jail cell, wasn't it? I think so. But yeah. Uh, let me see... Yeah, it was Balloon. But yeah, else, if none of those hit anything, then it would just be invalid password. But this is just to show nice try. And that's like the last thing you can choose. Yep. All those pistons and a giant clamp. And then here's the music for in here. The game over music. <sighs> also, I figured out what that up there is. That's a star. I just have them black for whatever reason. Kind of looks cool. But yeah, that's going to be the end of my first take. And cut. Hey, everybody. So, uh, one thing to note. This is not the same day. 
So after I worked, I was tired, I went to bed. This is about two days later. So we went with the lily route, that went very well. Now I guess let's try to follow Sage. So you'll notice these letters along the way of Sage's route. So the first one's B, keep that in mind. Now then, he went into this vent, so let's go. Allergies are gonna make this recording so much worse. All right, here we are. Death password is Dova. We have a U over there. We have the map, so a nice little lantern. And of course, Sage himself. Ah, so you decided to come along. I knew I could count on you. Yep, yep. Anyways, here's the plan. These vents lead to Ender's secret vault, which has a weapon we can use to bring him to justice. Over there are some maps you can use to navigate through these vents. If you look at the map, you can see the area we need to go is at the very end of here. So, be sure to keep the map on you, memorize it, try not to get lost. Alright, let's do it. Alright, I don't know if they're still here. Let me double check. Uh, They are not. So, when I first made this room, or at least like this subroom, all this tube... That was how I made the map for the whole vents, and I just built around it. But there's actually a connection. Uh, if I can have my finger like that. Why doesn't it want me to grab it? Stop it. It's like right there. There's like a little connection right there. So that green dot will be important for later, but for now, let's just go from S, the start, to F, to finish. So let's see. Left, all the way at the end of the tunnel here. Up, left, up. Right, keep going down here, left, left, up. Wait, that's not a good way. Okay, I gotta go this way. Okay, and then up here, down this way, up here, and this should lead us right to the end. See, like I said, there's a connection right there. So that's F, that's right here. There's like a little connection over there. I didn't mean to do that, but it happened. No, this wasn't here before. Ugh. Oh, hey, so there's a problem. Apparently Ender went back and added some extra security to these vents for whatever reason. A whole card reader, of all things. Uh, I don't know what to do. Hmm, wait, I got an idea. Knowing Ender and how he leaves stuff around all the time, maybe when he installed this, he left a card somewhere. Probably in these vents. Yeah, knowing him, he definitely, definitely did that. Yeah, I'd, I'd try to look at it closer to see if we can even hack it, but it's way too secure. We're going to need that card, so keep that map on you and look around, see if you can find any cards. All right, so the card that he's talking about is this little green dot right here. So originally, I did not have this dot, nor did I have this button. I just wanted people to go out and find the card on their own, but uh, that was a bit harder on some people than I thought, so I ended up adding the green dot for the card. People were still confused, so I added this button to pretty much tell you, hey, it's where the green dot is, right here. So since we're up here, let's just go back, and I'm going to try to include some sort of map graphic that shows my little head just like navigating the maze. And hopefully that helps out. It probably won't, but... <laughs> It'll still be cool to do. Okay, so down here. To the left. Back up. To the right. Go down. Go left. Go down. Go all the way to the end of here. Go here. Go right. Go left. There's that vent. Go this way. Right here, and the booger leads us here. Also to note, this card will only spawn after you talk to Sage over here. It will not be here if you start from right here. So I know a lot of people, especially Bo, I saw that on his video, that he went straight for the green dot. And I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> but here it is now, the comically oversized card. I wonder if it's the exact same card. Hmm. Alright, uh, I was not paying attention. So, left, 
right, left, 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 right, left, left, right, right, left, and here we are again. It's always such a pleasure. Ding, ding, ding. Hey, Sage. Have you found that card yet? There it is. Good job. <laughs> I knew I could count on you. I knew he would leave one of those in here. <laughs> what a nerd. All right, let's do this. Okay, one interesting thing is that if you return without the card, uh, he'll do kind of the same commentary that Ender did. I just didn't display it, but hey, play the game to figure that out, huh? All right, so again, CV1 State Machines to organize the whole scenes. There's the song. It's only one sampler long. And uh, this is what the map looks like from above. Let me get in the right spot for it. Yep. So you can see there's that connection there that wasn't supposed to be there. But everything else is pretty much accurate enough. <laughs> Anyways. So if you notice that uh, thing down there, that's just for respawn purposes. But uh, one thing I do want to do first. So I just lost a map. Which kind of stinks, because now I need to show the secret stuff again. So I think I got a gist of where to go. So let's just follow blindly. And, you know, if I still have that mini-map, maybe I'll show it. <laughs> maybe I'll get lost. Maybe I won't. We'll see. Yeah, I got lost. <laughs> Enter so terrible he can't play his own game. Uh... Yeah, I think this way. This way. Ender of the future, guide me. Haha. -ha. Long hallway, I know what this is. Booyah! Congratulations in finding that card that was so conveniently placed. I hope you and Sage have a very successful mission. I know, it's not much, but still. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna skip this. Whee! On to the next. Any more hints? Alright, let's go. And yeah, just out this way. It's just... The void! Don't save. The void awaits! Game on. Game on. All right, we can't go back the way we came. Whoa. There you are. Ah. Security bots. And there Security was bots. Well, hope we don't get caught. <gasps> Come on down. I kind of wish I used more security bots, to be honest. So if the security bots are activated, that means the laser. Also, all this is up here. The bat bots are activated. The whole security system's online. Luckily for us, it looks like Ender didn't even. Also, a T. Because they went the wrong way. Excellent. Not that it's a problem though. His security isn't that great. Plus, I believe in you. You came this far, and I know you can do great things. Let's do this. Yeah, let's do this. All right. So yeah, you got this hallway, uh, and I will show it doesn't lead to anything. It's just an empty void. I'm sorry. All right, let's go. All right, so you can see the area from before, and I think there's a secret right here. I can't remember if it's here or up there, because I know you can jump back up here. I'm pretty sure. Uh, never mind. <laughs> I don't even know my own game. All right, so. Staff, we had another break-in. Someone keeps taking weapons out of this room. Repair the door and add cameras to the hallway. Thanks, Ender Alexio. So we'll take weapons, and I will take these. It's not really holiday themed. I could change the skin. Actually, you know what? It's the holidays. Let's change that. We gotta have something festive. Uh... Ah, oh, because it's in the middle of the game. I can't. That's dumb. Oh, well. 
Okay, so security bot. You can't actually shoot him. That doesn't do anything. I wish I could set up something to where it does, but unless I put like bugs in his head or something, I can't. So all you need to do is just dodge his camera looks. That's pretty simple enough. And uh, if you get caught, security bots, or not security bots, but uh, bat bots spawn in from uh, Jumbotron. But yeah, pretty cool stuff. Uh, lasers. Seems difficult at first, but the easiest route is just to duck a little bit and just go this way. Yeah. You know, it doesn't seem right, diffusing my own security, but here we are. Alright, the tile puzzle. Now, I know a lot of people didn't really get this one. Uh, I'll kind of go over what all these symbols even mean. D-pad, of course, my logo. A pixelated bestie building logo, which is now non-existent, I guess. Uh, Rec Room logo, of course. And the TriStar, uh, Tennessee, because I used to live in Tennessee. Love that state. And the SUP logo, because why not? So you'll notice a pattern of D-pads along the way. It kind of snake its way through all this. So if you're careful, I'm just going to drop the gun because I'm probably not going to use it. Because I'm too good. Ah! <laughs> okay. Okay, got to be careful. Now, I did put a little bit of leeway. So, it's fine. Okay, now if uh, now if I mess up, then uh, I won't. Haha. -ha. Alright, here we go. Vault time! Get it open. I got the key. Ah, uh, come on, let me in. Let me in. Ender. Hey, you made it. Good. Glad to see you got past those traps and whatnot. Let me leave! Here and... Oh, great. He found us. Oh no, he did? Well, well, well. Good to see you again, Sage. And you. Yo! I am disappointed in you. Uh -huh. I brought you safety. I got you away from Lily. I was worried to death. I thought you died, and here you are following him. Why are you pointing at me? Well, Ender, they're only with me because they don't want to help the killer of Lily. I'm not the one that killed her. I've been trying to figure that out this entire time. Yeah, yeah. Say so those voice lines were a pain to set up. The killer, so it must be true. Because I had to record both at the same time. I'm not convincing any of you, am I? Nope. It doesn't matter. I know what you're here for. You're here for my secret weapon. And by yep. that... I will not allow you to proceed. So now, security bots, take them away. No! Don't save! Okay. So that's the end of the scene. Usually you'd be teleported away, but because I'm the creator of the room, it wants me to save first. So we have all this. It's pretty nice. Uh, there's nothing behind this door. It's all a lie. I don't have a secret weapon. All I have is my guilt and shame. Yeah, this is the whole area. Here's the laboratory part again. So if you remember from the labs, it was kind of a setup exactly like this, where it's half cut off, half not. Uh, here are the security bots from earlier. Let me fly over to them. Hey, buds. I'm actually really happy with how these turned out. I'm just sad I didn't use them more. Because they actually look pretty cool. Maybe in the sequel there will be like a million of them. Who knows? Okie dokie. Oh yeah, back to the beginning. Yeah, there's nothing there. And I think there's nothing here. Let me see. Yeah, okay. So this room's the exception. There's nothing in this room. And I don't think there's anything in the next room either. Yeah, let's just go. Don't save! Nah. Uh, how could you throw me in jail, Ender? That's rude. It's dark outside. Hey, Sage. Hey, you. You're finally awake. Uh, <clears throat> glad you're okay. You took quite the beating from those security bots. Man. Anyway, there should be some stuff in your cell to help you escape. You know how Ender is. He's terrible with security. Yep. Terrible with it. Yeah, I've been in this jail a few times already, so there's nothing in here. But uh, I think that cell has been untouched for a while now. Just look around, and uh, we'll be out of here in no time. Alright, so solution to this one. 
is, of course, you look around, and you see the screws, uh, you see the vent. Yeah, very sus. You touch the vent, vent flops, because it was never screwed in. And what do we find in the vent? A screwdriver! Which, I am going to fix this, because I know screen mode players have a hard time, and that's because its pivot is, like, way off somewhere. So, I'm going to make that fixed, and hopefully screen mode players will have more fun with that. Anyways, boop. Then we just move it out of the way. Now we don't need this. Yeah. All right, here I we are. made it out. Good to see. I knew you were resourceful. All right, there's a pin on the Two. score. It's simple. It's 8675309. Ender sings it to himself all the time and locking the door, so try it out. And if you wait, he actually sends a message. So let's just wait. How you doing, Sage? Boop. We're gonna wait here until you say something. If you're happy and you know it, door's still locked. If you're happy and you know it, door's still locked. I'm not happy, the door's still locked. Did you forget the number? 8675309. 8675309. So most of these voice lines for him, I actually uh, written out. That one was all him. Eight six seven five three zero oh, nine. Ein. Sorry, can't add that bit. There we go. Ah, uh, see, what did I tell you about Ender security? Couldn't even keep a hamster in a cage. All nope. right, let's do it. Let's stop Ender. Let's bring him to justice. He also did that too. <laughs> T! Nothing's in here. He doesn't even get a vent. It's no fair. Alright. And now for the thing everyone's theorizing on, because you don't really do much with him in the game. Hey you! Let me out of here! What? You need a password? How am I supposed to know? I could have ruled this world! I had Pongo and everything! Ugh! Let me out! I could have ruled this world. I had have you played Quantum Pongo. Escape? Don't let him out. Then why did you fail? Why are you talking to yourself? They're not listening anymore. I won't. Uh, I could have. I could have. And there is a correct password to that. I had yeah, past this point is a dead end. Game on. Oh no. Hey Sage. Well, well, well. Look who got out of jail. It's Sage and his friends. Ah, good. I've been meaning to test out a new gadget I've been developing for a while. Something that should fix this problem. Ah, I still Teleportation can fix many things, out, Ender. Even though I've been innocent this whole entire time. You know what? I'm tired of this. I can take care of you and Sage at the same time with my new gadget. So, you want to dance, Sage? Let's dance. Whee! <laughs> ah, he's using now a teleportation device. You I saw that in the lab a few times. Luckily, I have a plan. You'll probably be using the box again. I think there are guns over there that we can use. Destroy. It won't work on Ender's ah, great, the box systems there are Come on. I can activate the Come on. <laughs> Anyways. Give me some time to set up the this first really cannon. It'll you guys. take some time. Just focus on exciting this and getting someone to watch. You'll be fine. Do this. Grab his guns before you forget. Come on. Uh, how come every time I make something, it always breaks? So much talking. And there's this music. Okay. Boss fight number two. Ender Luxio. So, Ender is going to spawn in one of three bots. Either it's going to be these tread bots which is gonna be over here. Or he's gonna spawn bat bots. Yeah, let me try not to get hit. Die, you. Or he's gonna spawn bat bots right. over there and over there. Make sure he's in the right spot before you fire it, otherwise you'll have to wait a moment. Now, if you stand in the center, they can't actually hit you, but you have to go over to the cannons to hit Ender. Where is Ender? Oh, Ender's right there. 
Go over there, dude. So yeah, one thing I kind of dislike about this battle, personally, after I made it, was it is random where he's going to go. So there's just that going for it. Ha! Excuse me. That's rude. Don't do that. Wait, was Ender over there? I wasn't paying attention. If he was, I'm sad. Come on, Ender. Can you quit spawning the Treadbots? <laughs> go, Ender, go. Go over there, Ender. Go. Get out of sight. No, wrong one. <laughs> yeah, but... So, Rec Room has a spawn limit on enemies. And this room is pretty full ink-wise. So you notice he hit the button, but nothing new spawned. Because those bots are taking up all the CPU, whatever. Dude, go over there. Yeah, don't nod. Don't nod in confidence. I broke your system. This boss is easy. Get over there. Do it. Yeah, if I was able to rewire this, I would make it to where the ca the cannon he's supposed to be at, he would spawn at more frequently. Come on, Ender. Ender, stop it. Stop it. Zombie rifle. Come on, Ender. I'm tired. Not really, but... Ender. Go over there. Ender! <laughs> it's cold. They're bundling up to stay warm. <sighs> Go over there, Ender. I'm just gonna sit down. I'm just gonna relax. Now I know what the comments mean when they say this fight takes too long. I agree. Wait, did I just see what I think I saw? Ender? No. <laughs> you got me hopeful there. You got me hopeful there, Ender. Okay, this is... I shouldn't go to Vegas with these odds. This is terrible. Come on, Ender. Unless something broke and I just don't know of it. You've literally been on all the platforms except that one. Do it. And <laughs> ah! My computer has limited storage and I'm getting so many minutes of footage because of you. Yes, 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 die! Woo. Yeah, and the only reason Sage takes too long is that you have to hit Ender first and then a countdown happens. Because I didn't want stuff overlapping. Oh, well, he's in the spot I need him to, but Sage ain't done. Alright, I got this one. We got one more. Make sure to keep defending. He's probably going to send out. Oh, now you go over there. <laughs> now you go over there. Now you go over there. Okay, fine. Fine, be that way, Ender. Be that way. Now you're just mocking me. You're just mocking me. Ender Luxio. You are rude. Ender is such a meanie, everybody. Be sure to unsubscribe from him. He's a huge jerk. He makes boss fights last longer just because he's mean. <laughs> Don't do that. Okay, so after the second stage, he moves on to uh, phase three, which means he'll start spawning elite bots. Great, you guys are stuck firing him here again. One D spawns fine. Like I said, uh, all the bots are full, so none of the elite bots are going to spawn. But if they do, it'll be an elite bat bot over there, an elite bat bot over there, or an elite tread bot back there. All right, so yeah, back there is not safe. Now, what makes this cannon different is that it rotates. So we got to wait for Ender to hit one of those two, and then we have to wait for the cannon aim at one of those two, and then bam. So now we just wait for Ender.
Yeah, if there was one big thing I'd change about Lily's Revenge, it's probably this. Which I'll probably fix in the future. I'll take a look at the circuitry before I leave the room to see. Ender. Ender. That was my phone. What does it say? I'm gonna wait. Ender. Lexio is a nerd. There we go. Boop. Bye, Ender. There we go. It's all over. Lily will be happy that Ender is taken care of. So thank you. You helped out a lot. <laughs> Let's head to the surface. I could eat a boyko or two. What is it with Ender and having rooms full of colored liquid? Yeah, that's a bad idea, because they're just going to keep respawning. There's probably so many bots on the backlog, it ain't even funny. Yeah, that's where the elite ones will spawn. Here's the whole circuitry for the boss fight. Uh, the spawning is taken care of by this over here. It's lots of fun. So I'll just have to change up the system a little bit, which is going to be a pain, but oh well. Quit shooting me. The, the, the boss fight's over. Be nice. Hey, hey, hey. Boss fight's over. Be nice. Z. There's a Z. Tunnel. Secret tunnel! Ah! We're here. Again. Wonder why we're back here. Didn't we already do the Lily ending? But anyways, oh yeah. The secret. Okay. So, we need a way for him to stop talking first, which is going to take a little bit, so, uh, hmm, what can I talk about in the meantime? Uh, Iridium. So, Iridium is a reference to Borderlands. I think it's specifically, uh, Borderlands 2. And these don't have any collisions, so you can just chill in them. Ow! My butt hit the sofa. <laughs> Wee. You take too long. Okay, so remember the keyword we had before that we learned from the other route? Well, we have a wonderful little keypad here. The password is split up in other rooms. I should have said sub rooms, but oh well. Wait, what was that sound? Wait, how did you get that door open? That door's been password protected since, well, since these labs have been built. What's even in there? Magic. Wait a minute. Is this all Sage's stuff? Probably. Hmm. Wait, what are these files? This is all the way back from when the fire started. It's blockier that. than I remember. <laughs> hey, here's some security photos. Too. Oh yeah, these are actually Sage's inventions. That was made by me for me. them. Wait a moment, that's Sage. That's that's Sage, the one who's been leaving the notes. Wait a minute, why are they doing this then? Were they the ones that killed Lily? Why though? The Lily incident. Was it? Was it just to frame me? Wait a moment, there's a log here for today too. How do you know it's today? There's no date on it. Wait, secret weapon. Secret weapon? Wait, are they talking about the one in my vault? Oh no, quick, we gotta hurry. Fast! And then running time. No, 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 no. no. Zoom, zoom. No, I don't want to hurry. I have to explain stuff. Alright, so again, that's just a reskin PC. So this photo, I will show... Uh, let me get a camera out. No, don't save that. Just switch. Okay, so holiday outfit still on. Uh, so in those outfits, that was actually me. I just got to find where I have it stored. Yeah, okay. 
Here is Sagender, aka Pretender, or Pretender. But yeah, pink hair, uh, Sage's face. Other than that, the outfit is pretty much the same. But that's what's in that photo there. And what's supposed to be pre burned to Lily. Me. Anyways, back to holiday, because it's Quithbeth. It's Quithbeth. Alright, let's go. Do, 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 do. So, yeah, this is what this uh, loading zone over here is for. You do go back this way. Okay. So, one thing I want to clarify and admit. So, oh, after this point. So, this room was rushed. So, when I did release this game, it was at a set deadline. And I was in the middle of finishing the Lily boss fight when I released the game. I know. That was terrible. This is why I don't have a deadline for the sequel. Because I want to release it when I think it's done. And not rush anything near the end. So this was actually completed after the game was released. And if you look at one of the first photos of this room, you can see people actually ended up out of bounds and looking at the sage boss before it was actually set up. And yeah, so this was oh, the last know. thing I did pretty much. Great, that means he's inside. Did I ever set okay. this to a state machine or is it just extremely dangerous. Okay, I did set it to a state machine good. Before it destroys everything. Come on, let's hurry. Before it was just a self-standing holotar. All right, so down this way. First, uh might as well do this bit. So yeah, it blocks you off, but yeah, none of this exists. So let's continue. Password is friend. Let's go! Can you believe it? It's a room that doesn't have any goo. Hey, Sage. <laughs> ender, ender, ender. And you guys should have just followed me into the vent. Oh, too late. Have fun. Boop. Have fun. No, 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 no. Wait, that's not the right robot. Okay, good. Uh, shoot it in the corner a few times with that paintball pistol and it should go down pretty easily. Okay, so... Ender is just saying he's gonna be useless over there. <laughs> so, this robot has four attacks. One of them, of course, is a helicopter spin and a slash in the middle. So you gotta shoot him in the center. And it should take effect that he took damage. There we go. And I died. <laughs> Shut up, Lily. You're not the one that killed me. Go away. <laughs> All right, so yeah, four attacks. I'm pretty sure it's four attacks. I walk right into a corner. Oh no! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> Whoa! Two enders. Yeah, if people have trouble grabbing the gun, it's because of these beacons. You died. No, I didn't. Yeah, let's see this from like super far back. Okay, so this is the beam attack. So it starts over there, then it's this one, and then that one, and then that one, and then all four of them come, so you just gotta jump. I think that's one of the hardest attacks to avoid. Alright. Okay, this is Sword Slash, which you can just stand all the way back here to avoid it. Or jump over it. You choose. Okay, he's gonna do his little helicopter dance. 
stand over here. So yeah, I was right, there's uh, four attacks. So you just gotta keep dodging him and uh, hitting his core whenever. You're not even typing on anything. Ender, you're so useless. No wonder you're having this revenge against you. You can't do anything right. Oh, back to the spinny. Uh, I don't remember if this actually hits me, and it could have, but I jumped. Ha ha ha. Oh, wait, right. He hits the very end. Woo! <laughs> Die. Back to the helicopter spin. I can just imagine just sage ballerina dancing to this music. <laughs> Spinning around in a circle. Sword Slash. What, where's that one attack? Where's the fourth one? Hey, I got that. And I would put more guns in here, but ink. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay. Hop. 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 Get in the middle. And jump! You really like helicopter. And yes, the bot is supposed to look like me. Because it's technically my robot, just manned by someone else. <laughs> Which is rude. It's my robot. Get out of here. Oh yeah, I forgot to put the Rec Room logo on the shoulder pads. That looks cool. Oh, here's that other attack. Ah! Ooh, ooh, did you see that dodge? Did you see that dodge? Ducked and everything, and it was so close. Ooh. Oh, here we go again. Oh, I'm gonna have to dodge again. Yeah. Okay, that wasn't that wasn't as cool as a dodge. Or of a dodge, but. You're almost done, Sage. The other ender will do something of actual significance. While the other one plays Roblox on his little laptop over here. <laughs> Give you a hot attack. I'm just gonna stand over here. Whoa, a bit close, mate. Hey. One more, one more, one more, one more, one more. Spawn, spawn, spawn. Oh, he's at zero. Which means, after this, yep. No, 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 no. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Ender, you're useless. You faked Ender, of all people. Uh, surprise, I killed Lily. It was me. It was? <laughs> I mean, really, was it that hard to figure like out? Like I said, this part was a bit rushed. Page? But I'm glad we got it done. Did I say that I killed... No. <laughs> Lily? Take him away. Oh. <laughs> Just oh. Kill two birds with one stone. Well, guess that's it then. Curse that piece. Sage is gone. It's all over. Sage's Thank last you. words. Thank or you so much. Last word. Now let's Cur. get back to the surface. I can get some minis. Ugh. Imagine if it was the other robot though. It's like a hundred times bigger. The other robot. Hmm. So yeah, explanation of this boss battle is that Sage chose the quote-unquote wrong robot. And there's actually a way bigger one somewhere. Speaking of which, can you actually see the bot? No, you can't. Okay. Well, and that is the secret Sage ending. So let's go. Don't save. All right, so back at, so all the credits rooms will have this pretty much. You have the starting area, and then you can go and walk into the elevator. So the Lily ending and the Sage ending will have Ender in here, while the Ender ending will have Sage in here, because you're the one that kills Ender. Or throws him into the goop, maybe you lived, I don't know.
We'll see. He's sleepy, though. Let's give him some rest. This is kind of a health hazard. Or a safety hazard. <laughs> health hazard. <laughs> Doorways. Bad for your health. Mm. You can get, like, the flu from this. It's pretty old. Anyway, so... Player character is going to fill in whoever is looking at the text. And to those that don't know, I voice to Lily. And Edmonton Jones is voiced by uh, Sage. And like I said, near the beginning of this, I pretty much did everything. I just had Sage as a character because he's a great friend and such. And he was intertwined with the lore that I put at the McDonald's room. Thank you so much, everyone, for everything. Thank you for supporting me through all these years. Rec Room has given me the chance to create for millions of people like you. I'm happy with how this quest turned down. I hope you enjoyed it, too. Thank you to these four amazing years and many more to come. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Enter Loxio, give me your Rec Room burst. I was trying to hurry up before this cut me off. This music I don't own. I don't own this music. All the other music I made, not this one. Okay. So we have the store over here that's selling our pop figures. We have Sage and Ender over here. The donations, which is a lot of fun. And as well, all endings will have a little plaque that you can get yourself. And it looks like over 7,621 people have done this ending. I know there's probably a whole lot more, but I actually added the plaques after I published the room. But all these endings will have a four panel thing explaining how that ending ends. This one is the canon ending, the true ending. Ender is happy. Everything is back to normal. Lily got a revenge. Sage is gone. And Ender's innocence has been proven. No more hauntings. No more tricks. No more fearing any trouble or persecution from anyone. His customers can feel safe again. He wonders if Lily is doing better since she figured out the truth. Ender hopes she finally found peace at last. One thing that Ender wonders though. How did the player know what the password was? Who knows what would have happened if we didn't discover it? I know what would have happened. We'd have, we would have gotten one of the other two endings. So let's uh, let's go and do that. Let's go to one of the other endings. Uh, no, I don't want to go to a... Uh, yeah. So... Ender credits, I want to say, is the one? Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to go through those two uh, endings and then kind of explain how Lily's Revenge came to be. So yeah, Ender ending, this is where we would have killed Ender. Let's just skip ahead past the credits, because it's the exact same. Except we have this ugly watermelon man in here. You just murdered Ender. Or pushed him into goo. Who knows about the grave Kool-Aid. I guess I can, like, fly around this room. So, yeah, the elevator is moving alongside this right here. And, yeah, it's a default skybox. And down here is this. So, I know there's a bit of a issue when you're with friends. And, uh, they leave without you. So, yeah. If you're, uh, left behind, sorry. <laughs> The elevator only takes off when all the players are in there. And that's the music and stuff. Uh, this box right here resets that, though. So if you end up out of bounds, just hit that and the elevator will come back. But now, let's move all the way back up here into the floating credits room. So, this is the ending where you kill Ender. After Ender was taken care of, no one was there to run the McDonald's. So Sage decided to take ownership. Ender Luxio got revenge. Sage Bunny's the new owner. Be sure to subscribe to Sage Bunny. Anything Ender themed was removed and or replaced with Sage Bunny to show the new owner. Besides, why have a murderer's name in the restaurant? Now the new owner of McDonald's, Sage Bunny quickly gains the wealth that Ender had previously. Now he gets all the rewards. But Sage forgot. This wasn't his revenge. It was Lily's. And with Ender gone, Lily has a new target. Like I said, I'm not going to continue the other two timelines. I will do something with them in the sequel, but I'm not going to continue them in the sense of, like, continuing the story of those endings. 
Uh, what am I doing? So now the other ending. What am I doing? I am... I'm messing this up bad. So bad. Uh, Lily credits. Lily! Lily revenge. Yeah, this video is gonna be long. Hey, what's up, Ender? Let's just skip to the end, okay? We have a more efficient elevator. Okay. So yeah, everything's still up here. Just gotta wait for the elevator to get up here. After the defeat of Lily, Ender was able to restore the McDonald's back to normal. He was happy it was finally over. Yet even in a celebration, he still wondered who truly killed Lily and what the motive was. He supposes it doesn't matter now that Lily is gone, of course. He is forgetting something, though, or more of someone. The one who's been leaving the notes. So in this timeline, we still have Sage to deal with, pretty much. But now that we're done with Lily's Revenge in its entirety, now it's time to say and tell how it all came to be. So... Sit down, grab us a few snacks. This is gonna be a bit of a s story. So let me just get a uh, photo mirror thing, cause I'll be easier to, it'll be easier to uh, narrate with that and be less boring. So if I do that, there we go. Okay, so Lily's Revenge started out in my other popular map, McDonald's. I made McDonald's a long time ago, like right when I started Rec Room. So around mid-2018 was when I first built that room. That was back then, before textures, before gizmos, before we had more than 16 colors, and cubes were super rounded. Making buildings was terrible. It was chaos. But early 2020... It started taking off. It started gaining traction and becoming popular. And it got so popular, in fact, that I started noticing the subscribers. They all liked stuff, like the indie horror stuff, like uh, Bindi and the Ink Machine, Poppy's Playtime, FNAF, uh, Friday Night Funk, and all the indie stuff that usually have some or horror elements mixed in. So I decided, you know what, why not make my own version of that? So I decided to add a ghost named Lily. She didn't have that name at the time. Funny enough, I think it was actually a comment. Someone left where they called her Lily. And I was like, that's a good name. I'll take it. <laughs> so if you were the one in the McDonald's comments that said, huh, I like this ghost. I'm going to name her Lily. Thank you. That comment is now concrete foundationed into this lore. So, originally Lily didn't say anything. She just jump scared people. She would wait around until someone got close and pretty much all she would do was just Ugh! and then just teleport off until she decided to spawn somewhere else again. Uh, after a while, I thought of an idea to make a quest about it or at least hint towards a quest. So I started working on this quest, Lily's Revenge, and I started leaving notes behind to, uh, it was notes that says it was Sage, pretty much. It was an S, but I decided to do that to include them into the story because they're the one that built the Ronald in the front of the restaurant, as well as, uh, they've contributed a little bit to building the McDonald's, and I wanted to include them in the whole lore of the thing since they were co-owners. So I started leaving notes around, and eventually Lily started speaking, and she started saying stuff about her death, saying how she died in a grease fire, Ender was to blame, trust Sage, he's the one that's right, you know, all that stuff. And eventually, uh, this was originally supposed to be out by April 30th, but like I said, I was really low on time. I didn't even have the Lily boss fight done by the time I actually did release this game. So I had to push back the deadline a lot, and that made a lot of people mad. Especially since I had a giant lily floating over the McDonald's with a countdown timer. There's a lot of photos about that, and 
I think, funny enough, Harry Manlegs visited the McDonald's, but not looking like that. It was in the middle of the countdown. So he saw McDonald's in the red sky, giant lily, countdown, revenge stuff. And yeah, he was uh, kind of scared <laughs> about it. I don't know if he's actually played the revenge. I haven't seen anything about it, but if he has, then he would probably understand more of what happened. Uh, he is the employee of the month at Walmart, if y'all have been there. Uh, he goes there a lot, and I'm really happy that he does, because that makes me super happy. But I'm sidetracking here. So Lily started saying more things, and eventually Ender disappeared. His little statue guy sitting on the bench in the front was missing, and there was tapes left around saying, hey, something bad's going down, I want to keep everyone safe, yada yada yada. And also the guy in the front would also speak different things. I honestly wish that I documented all that, or, you know, can go back to the save where it first started and then just kind of write down or record all that Ender and Lily said, but it's lost to time, I'm assuming, unless Rec Room has secret records of the room, which would be pretty, pretty cool. <sighs> but eventually, the Day of Revenge did come, and it took off so quick. Within the first day, we had over 50,000 people play the game. 50,000. That is an insane number. I can't even think about just so many people rushing into this room. And you think that would have caught notice of, like, the rec room server managers? Like, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. There's a hot spot right here. There's a lot of people going to this one room. And hopefully now that Lily's Revenge has gotten so big, and now that it's pretty much given me... A chance to make a bigger better game that will garner a whole lot more people possibly a million in the first day hopefully which would be insane but the sequel is in the works i'm currently working on it and it probably won't be out for a while because i do have a bunch of side projects i am working on i don't want to be just the lily's revenge guy or just the mcdonald's guy i'm currently about to release a map and i will say what it is Sadly, screen motors can't play it, but it is a baseball batting cages with a scoring system. And I think that'll be super cool when it's done. It'll probably be released maybe in a... Uh, I wouldn't want to say a week. Maybe two to three weeks if I work solely on it. But the sequel has been started, and I already got the story uh, formulated out. But that was the real life side to the coin now to the lore side the lore side of what really happened in lily's revenge so lily's revenge happened when one of my employees lily she was one of the best employees i've had she worked super hard at her job was very efficient and at the time sage was the assistant manager well because of certain reasons that i'm not going to disclose i ended up firing sage I believe it was due to, I think, trying to get control of my position. Eventually, I calmed down, realized my mistake, and rehired him. But sadly, with how the whole employee stuff works, he had to start from the bottom again. He was basically just a cashier. He hated that, and the new assistant manager became Lily. So, eventually, after a while, I was away, and... I ended up getting reports of a fire breaking out at McDonald's. At first, I thought it was just some prank with someone like putting ice in a deep fryer. But I then ended up realizing that there was a casualty. And that was Lily. So I ended up going back. The grease fire didn't do too much damage. We ended up getting that repaired super easily. But Lily was gone and Sage was nowhere to be seen. And I didn't want this revealed to the world because... Having a death in the restaurant isn't good at all. And I didn't want that to be solely what the restaurant was about. Because the restaurant's about a place where you have fun, where you eat, hang out with friends. And I didn't want a death to s destroy the experience. And apparently a lot of people took my ignoring of the situation as admission of guilt. So after a while, I started noticing faint 
visions on the side of my eyes anytime I'd walk around the restaurant. And eventually, those visions became more and more and more until Lily became who she is today. And this is because a lot of people interacted with her. But little do they know that Lily sapped a little bit of their power, and with how many people interacted with her, she became powerful quick. She started becoming, instead of just a mist of a soul, instead of full floor or full-fledged ghost that was able to speak full coherent sentences and be able to recall the past. And from what we discovered about Sage dressing up as me, she thought it was us. And with how Sage was rolling the narrative as well as Lily, people thought it was me for the longest time. And about a week from the day of the revenge, Lily kept me away from the restaurant to stop trying to prove my innocence. And to set me up to come back on the day of revenge to see my restaurant that I worked so hard on burned to the ground. When I did come back, I was surprised to see that there was an individual standing right outside. Oddly enough, like it feels like they just appeared there. For no reason whatsoever. But I decided to keep them safe and take them with me into my facility, which I haven't accessed in a really, really long time, out of fear that Lily might be down there and messing with stuff. So after we went in, we went through all the rooms into the laboratory. And at first I gave him a mission because I wanted to defeat Lily because I thought that getting rid of her, getting her out of the picture would restore things to normal. But without a moment to lose, the other person seemed to know exactly what I was going to say and what I was going to do before I actually did it, which I found super creepy. But they went up to the door right next to me when I was waiting for them to get all the parts, and that door opened. A door that's been password protected since the labs were built, something I never really gave much thought. After walking inside it, of course, I discovered... Who truly did the revenge? It was Sage. And all the reports that I've seen was him deliberately trying to cover up that it was him and keep framing, framing and pinning it on me. After I discovered this, I realized he was after my secret project. Something that I kept under the restaurant in case a apocalyptic event happens. Like, you hear so much about the Forbidden One. We gotta have some defense against that in case they go haywire, you know? So I built a gigantic, huge robot at the bottom of my facility. The vault only had the small robot at the time. I moved the big one somewhere else. Somewhere I'm not going to disclose, because if that robot gets out, unforetold dangers will happen. And I'd rather not put anyone at risk. Not anymore. Not after what happened here. But... After the Day of the Revenge, I haven't seen Lily for a really, really long time. But after a while, eventually I saw her again. She was doing well. And though she was still a bit, you know, vengeful, being a spirit and all, she did find peace. And we actually started to become decent friends. We chatted a little bit. We talked about the past moments. We even shared a few laughs, though. Her humor is now really, really dark and kind of scary she still scares me sometimes but it's still nice to know that everything worked out in the end and that everything's back to normal and hopefully nothing like that or even worse will happen ever again hopefully this will be way more years of peace way more years of having a wonderful restaurant and nothing else bad happening at all Hopefully. And that's the lore side of things. So, you got the real origin of Lily's Revenge, and you got the lore origin of Lily's Revenge. And I will note, at the beginning of the second game, there will be a recap of all the events of Lily's Revenge, pretty much the lore stuff I just gave you. But it's going to be presented in a very interesting format. But aside from that, that is all. That is the entirety of Lily's Revenge, how to beat the game, as well as developer commentary on everything that I built.
this was a huge passion project of mine, and I'm so happy it was very well received. And I hope the sequel does way, way better. Now then, Merry Christmas everyone. Thank you so much for watching, and I will have more videos uploaded soon. But y'all have been asking for this for a really long time now, and now you have it. So have a wonderful holiday season, and I will see you later. Bye.